name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I welcome you all to the Monday of the 18th week in Ordinary Time, Year A, where we have our first reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 28, verses 1 to 17. Our responsorial psalm is from the Psalm 129, and our gospel reading is from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 14, verses 22 to 36. The theme of today's reflection is titled, The Storm Won't Last Forever. The Gospel reading presents an event that reassures all of us that Jesus never leaves us. He never forgets us and will always be present in our lives, especially in our moments of needs. The Gospel reading says that Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go before him to the other side. That means the disciples' journey was not without the knowledge of Christ. He was aware. Now in the evening, and at a point in their journey, a point when they had gone far from the land, the disciples' boat was beaten by the waves, and the wind was against them. They were experiencing storm on their journey, and the scripture says, Jesus came to them in the fourth watch of the night. According to the division of the night by the Romans, the fourth watch of the night begins at 3 a.m. And do not forget that the disciples began their journey in the evening, which means they had gone through the first watch of the night, which began at 6 p.m., the second watch of the night, which began at 9 p.m., the third watch of the night at 12 a.m., and the fourth watch of the night, which began at 3 a.m. They had struggled with the wave and the storm from the beginning. And the farther they went, the more threatening the storm became. Then at the fourth watch of the night, when tensions were rising very fast, when they were at the hearts of the sea, Jesus then appeared to them on the sea. The scripture says, the disciples were terrified and they screamed out in fear because they thought it was a ghost. Well, we should understand with the disciples because they were battling with the storm on the sea. And standing before them right now is a figure they could not immediately recognize. They thought it was a ghost until Jesus replied, It is I have no fear. He saw them go through all those moments of fears because he is God, yet he knew he would save them at his own time. My dear brothers and sisters, there will always be storm in our lives and that can never be denied. But as long as we begin our life's journey with God, He will always be there for us. He will always come to our aid. The only difference between the disciples and the Gospel reading and the Israelites in the first reading is that the disciples began their journey in the presence of Jesus. Jesus instructed them to begin. And so when the storm came, He was there for them. But the Israelites who were in captives in Babylon and should have turned their hearts to God, especially in their moments of storm, we are now the ones who were disobedient to God and tried other means of solution to calm the storms of their life. The prophet Jeremiah was always there to call the Israelites to conversion and warn them that only God, the God of Israel, can save them from this storm. Only God can save them from the hands of the oppressors. But they won't listen. They rather listened to Hananiah, the false prophet, who prophesied only what the Israelites wanted to hear. My dear brothers and sisters, God is aware of everything happening to us. God is aware of everything happening to you. And so do not listen to the self-acclaimed prophets we have today. People who make false prophecies about the storm in people's life. God did not send them and never really sent such people just as he did not send Hananiah. They only go around making people believe in lies. Unfortunately, their lives will always end on a sad note, unless they repent. My dear people of God, there will always be storm in our lives. But the joyful thing is this, if we have God in our lives, the storm in our homes, the storm in our business, the storm in our world would not last forever. All we need to do is to have faith in God and trust that He will lead us safely. But even when our faith fails like that of Peter in the Gospel reading, let us also learn from Peter to say those faith-assuring words, Lord, 
save me. And he will definitely hear and answer us as a head beater at this time when his faith failed him. I pray for you today that whatever storm that is wrecking any part of your life would not swallow you. And the God who saves would come to your aid. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.